tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some custom templates for your posts, for your articles. Maybe you want to have different layouts for certain types of article. This is a great way to do that. So I'm going to go into the site editor by clicking on edit site up the top here. Uh, it's bringing me into the front page and I want that. So I'm going to go back on that little arrow. I'm then going to go to manage all templates. And then go to the top right and click add new template. It's going to be a custom template. So click on that, give it a name. And let's just say, for example, we've got some posts about London and we want a picture of London on the top of all of those posts. Of course, you can customize them as much as you like. Maybe it's, you know, changing the layout slightly or removing the featured image. You can do whatever you like. So let's click create. And we just choose a pattern to get started with. Now, this is not the default um, kind of post uh, layout, as you can see. So you're probably going to want to use that as a starting block. So let's do that. I'm going to click on here, which is you know, a page template, actually. I'm going to bring up the list view so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. I'm going to remove this page template part. And then I'm going to add the, uh, the post um, template part. So it's called simple uh, simple post. That's the one simple post content. There we go. Okay, now if I want to make any changes to this, what I need to do is detach it. Otherwise, if I start making changes here, it's going to affect the template part and that's going to affect it across the rest of the site. And I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to come up here, click on the three dots and detach the blocks from the template part. There we go. And now I can make some changes without fear of changing anything else. So yeah, let's remove this featured image. I'm just going to select the group that the featured image is in. Delete, and then what I'll do is I'm going to add another group, just a, a simple one column, and then within there I'm going to add an image. And I've got an image of London in my media library, so that will do nicely. Uh, center it up. Let me make it. No, maybe not. There we go. That's better. Let's keep it within the frame. Perfect. Let's, uh, of course, I can make any a load of other changes. Maybe I don't want the affiliate disclaimer on these posts either. So we could maybe, you know, take that out. Or, um, you know, it might be as simple as you want a template for a post with an affiliate disclaimer and ones without. This is the perfect way to do that. Okay. Let's save. And I'm going to update this template London posts. There we go. So now, if we go back to the home page, and we'll add a new post. Something about London. And then over here on the right hand side, we can select the template. So if we click here on the drop down, we've got London, the one we just created. And uh, yeah, let's publish. I'm not going to add any other content right now. There we go. It uses our new template without the affiliate disclaimer and with the picture of London at the top. Of course, if we're going to any of my existing content, it's still the same. Say, for example, I wanted to switch this one. I could just edit the post, change the template to London. There we go. It's got the London picture. Can we switch it back? It's pretty straightforward. There we go. So yeah, it's a great way to really customize your site and have different uh, bits of content looking different. Good luck with your sites. See you later.